Hey, I'm Dustin Kensrew. I sing and play guitar in Thrice. My first Line 6 product was a DL4, and it was um, not very long after the band started, so this was almost 20 years ago. I had not really had many pedals before. I was like, I don't need pedals, pedals, just metals. And that was the first pedal that kind of got me really interested in, in what uh, more you could do with sounds. At one point I was using M13s, I've used Vetas and Pod XT, and I was using Variax for a while and combining with other pieces of gear and then there'd be a new thing and from there on I just kind of had this quest to find the thing that would bring me like the best tone and the best functionality. I feel like for me Helix is the first time where uh, everything seems to be in one place and I'm not looking elsewhere like I feel like everything is, has come together and the tones are fantastic and the functionality is unreal. I tend to be very passionate about my, my tone and settings on my gear. The streamlined nature of, of how you can set up your, your workflow in the Helix allows me to not be thinking about my tone while I'm playing. I want to be thinking about it before, but when I'm playing I want to, I want to hit one button and know that exactly the tone that I want is going to happen and I can focus on performing. and connecting with the audience, with my band. I have an artist series, uh, guitar now, Stingray with Ernie Ball, that has a mode where it's using a stereo out. And so the two individual pickups are going through separate channels down uh, the cable into separate inputs in the Helix. And I'm then able to control uh, not only which of the pickups I'm using, uh, at a certain time, I can blend them, going kind of 75 one way or the other, um, can have really great tones, and it, it's seamless. In the past, I think I would have had this feeling of, oh, well, I gotta use a real, a real amp, right? Like, that's the coolest. But when I'm sitting there with good speakers on, running stereo feed out of the Helix, I have, there's nothing else that I could want, because I usually like, okay, I gotta change the mic out, I gotta do this, and I, I have it going and it's like, yeah, that's the sound, that's it, that sounds great. So, um, I think it's the first time I've ever felt that confidence in amp modeling uh, and effect modeling to that degree where I, I, I really don't want to go down and, and chase these physical amps and, and more power to people who do, but if it sounds good, I'm gonna use it.